Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. So as I am filming this video, it is Friday. You're seeing it on Monday. Um, I hope you all had an amazing weekend. Let me know in the comments what you got up to um, and all of that. I am still, we just like, I'm, it, I, <laughs> guys, <laughs> I'm still like coming off of my IVF Nemo embryo news. So I'm, I'm a little downcast you could say but I wanted to get into the routine and vlog and sit down and casually just sit and talk with you guys not much going on today just gonna unbox some things that I ordered and then whatever we get up to in the house gonna be a cozy relaxed kind of day I did start my period I have the start of a migraine I know that's TMI uh just coming off of that birth control and that kind of stuff so I figured we would just chill it's a very rainy dreary day here in Florida too. We were supposed to have the lanai pavers sealed today, but due to the rain, they had to cancel and reschedule for Monday because the pavers have to be completely dry in order to do like pouring the sand and brushing it in and then doing the sealing. So that's on hold for now, but I'm really excited because I think I'm going to do like a whole lanai makeover kind of video. So it'll be showing the befores and then the process of the pavers. And then Larry and I are gonna build the furniture and put that up and then maybe we'll go shopping for some plants and maybe add a plant or two here and there just to make it look cozy and nice. So I'm thinking about doing a video. Let me know if you would be interested in seeing like a lanai pool season prep makeover. So we didn't do that last year. So we were just moving in, we're getting settled. And then this year I feel like we're really making it our own. And it's going to be really fun to be able to cook out on the lanai and have pool days with Liam and just have a wonderful um, summer. So let me know if you're interested in that. I'm currently having some cottage cheese, which you guys know is one of my no-no upset stomach foods. But I found a lactose-free one and I've been doing really well with it, which is awesome. It's a great source of protein. And I cut up some fresh mango, so... I am enjoying that at the moment, but I have two, well, two things to show you, not two things, but I did a little haul from Bath and Body Works. It has been a very long time since I have done a Bath and Body Works haul. What sparked this was the Bridgerton release with Bath and Body Works, and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to check it out. I don't plan to burn the candles that I got because they give me headaches, um... So no burning. They're more so for look and for like collector's purposes, I guess. I'm a huge fan of Bridgerton. I love Bridgerton. So we're going to unbox everything that I ordered from Bath and Body Works. We're going to start there and then we'll move into beauty. Um, I do love Bath and Body Works hand soaps. I went a little floral, which I don't know if that was such a smart plan because I am sensitive to florals. It depends on the floral. So this may be chaos, but... Um, I did pick up the Bridgerton hand soap and this has fragrance notes of sparkling peach, spring daffodil, and radiant jasmine. I can smell it through here. It is very strong, so I'm not going to sniff it. I'm a little on the sensitive side at the moment. The next one we have is Garden and Time. I am so excited about this one. It looks very refreshing if it focuses. Hello. Um, it sounds very refreshing. I feel like this would be a really good kitchen soap. So the keynotes for this one are fresh thyme, spring moss, and garden breeze. So let's give this one a sniff. I feel like this will be a safe one. Oh, that's nice. This is really nice. This is great. I like that. I did get the Diamond of the Season Bridgerton Mist. Same keynotes as the soap. And then the candle, I have one out and open. Oh, it's by the front door. So let me just unbox this one. I purchased one for my mom as she is a huge fan of Bridgerton as well. So I got us each one. We're gonna set it on a bookshelf or wherever and it's gonna be more of a decor piece. I will be totally honest and I did see it online so I knew what the candle looked like before I bought it. But I, I feel disappointed. <laughs> This is velvet, so that's really nice because I was like, oh, it just looks so basic. When I think of Bridgerton, I think of like floral and pastels and just so feminine. And this to me just looks not that. But I will say the placard here 
is velvet. So I thought that was really nice. That was a cute touch, but in general, I just find it to be too simple for what I would have loved. I would have loved like a pastel floral pattern on there. Again, I'm, I'm complaining about a candle, whatever, but that's just my take on it. it. It does smell good. It's just really, 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 really strong. So you could literally take, the, I can smell it through here. You can take the lid off of this thing and not even have to burn it and it will smell like floral in your house. So, and then I got the Bridgerton shower gel. I always get the aromatherapies, but I thought this would be nice as like, um, I guess spring summery scent with the florals. And then I got fresh cut lilacs, which Larry is going to love this soap. And the keynotes here are lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and soft spring air. So all the hand soaps that I currently have are very wintry or fall. So I thought I would put some nice pops of floral as the weather is getting more springy and nice. Now we move on to lip products. This one I did already try. Let me move the box because it keeps rubbing. Um, this is the Lemon Lip Balm by the C.O. Bigelow Epithet. Anyways, let's see if it'll focus. Focus! Come on, camera. Work with me. There we go. Very nice. I love it. It reminds me of the EOS lip balms. It's very glidey. I love a glidey. I don't like a sticky. These are glideys. And it's lemon. And I thought, hmm, I really, really like that. My favorite is always vanilla. This is another one that's amazing. And they were having a sale on these, so they were quite affordable, which was nice. I love these mentha lip tints. They are super, super minty, very cooling. It's like you've put a cough drop on your lips or something. Did I describe that very oddly? Probably. But let's pop this on. I liked the pink tint on this. Oh, but I also got this. And this is the Nourishing Lip Shimmer with Hyaluronic Acid. I think it's a very, like, minimal lip tint as well oh it smells like like a very light buttercup not floral like a creamy vanilla okay we're gonna go with this the mentha lip tint and you guys know i have i think i have two of these i have a minty green one and then i have a sparkly i don't know mm, yeah Okay, cool. We like that. So that's everything that I picked up at Bath and Body Works. I love, love, love the lip products that I got. Uh, I don't know if I'm as excited about the Bridgerton thing. I think I was like knocked in by um, advertisement kind of situation, but you know. All right, now this next package was gifted by Smashbox, which was really exciting. This is not sponsored, this is just gifting, but I wanted to share with you guys what they had sent. So thank you, Smashbox. But, okay, so they sent me their Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. Do you guys remember like all the rage on the primers when you would do primers before your makeup? It's been a while since I have done one and this really makes me want to go back to that. I, when I first started getting into makeup, I used this and I loved it. So maybe I will go back to it. It's a lightweight, oil-free, velvety, smooth, glides on clear, antioxidant blend of vitamins A and E, grapeseed extract and green tea. So that is nice, we'll give that a go. Next, they sent over their Smashbox Halo Sheer to Stay Color Tint for Leap Lip lip and cheek in the shade wisteria fun fact about that wisteria was actually the shade of our wedding light color and bridesmaids dresses it was a really pretty purple this is definitely not purple but let's see the color on this oh it's a lip tint and i just put lip stuff on guys chaos Ooh, that's very nice okay so here is the color of that maybe i'll pop a little bit I can't see what I'm doing except for in the viewfinder, which that's not a good idea because <laughs> the viewfinder is far away. How's it look, guys? Pretty pop of color. I hope it's not too much. I can't tell. I like the way it feels. It's not sticky or tacky. It just kind of feels really nice and smooth on the skin. Okay. And then they sent over their Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara and their self-sharpening liner. So that's what they sent over, which was really sweet, and I'm so excited to use their products. So 
yay for that and that is everything that i have to share with you guys oh i finished oh should we talk about the books uh what's the date as this video goes up is that too early to talk about the books first of all let's talk the february read because i was late to the party you guys are done with that if you were doing the book club and the february read was called before we were strangers I really liked the read. It's not one of my favorite books of all time. It was a spicy book, if you know what I mean. We had some scenes in the book. I don't mind that. Um, the ending threw me through a loop. I was at, I was shocked. I was surprised by the ending. And as I said when I wrapped it up, like you can tell communication was a big issue between these two characters in this book. You know, they lost touch with each other. They went separate ways. There was obviously... A character that was not so lovely in this I don't know how much I should share I mean basically you have two characters that fell in love in college and then they went their separate ways after they got offered to travel abroad they went abroad and um, things just kind of came between them and it was a good read I liked it but it's not my favorite I have already finished our March read again let me check what date this book this vlog goes up. Is that too early to share? I should probably talk about the book more on maybe the Saturday the 30th instead of like a week early before you guys finish it. But let me know if you are reading our March book, Firefly Lane. It is so good. So amazing about two friends. I will link it down below in case you guys didn't purchase it and you want to read it. And just like their lives and what happens in three decades of friendship and it's just such a lovely read I cried I laughed I was frustrated like all the feels in that book and now as we're waiting I had a lot of you guys recommend this book for me it is everywhere it will be no surprise to you that I'm probably starting it a court of thorns did I just spit out something a court of thorns and roses by Sarah J Moss um, I just started it. This is not going to be the April read most likely. I'll put it in for the read, but it probably, I don't know if it'll get picked, but I'm going to read it like in my own time just for the next week until the March read gets, or the April, April, guys, how bizarre is that? The April read gets picked. I have picked a couple of books that I am thinking for April. Let me know if you guys have any recommendations down below, but I was researching and I found this one, Ready or Not, that I'm going to put forward for our April read. And then also this one, The Paper Palace, I thought sounded quite intriguing. So I was just looking on like the best books to read um, in 2024 for fiction. And I was telling, okay, so I finished those books in the same day. So the February read and our March read, I finished like in the same day. And I was telling my mom, I was like, I'm just in that state of mind right now where I need to be diving into somebody else's story and in a fiction book. I don't know if that's healthy or unhealthy. I'm not really sure, but I just feel like I would rather be diving into that world than in my own head at the moment. So I am really enjoying reading. <laughs> Let me know if you guys can relate to that, but Anyway, I am going to finish eating my breakfast and then I will catch up you, with you guys in a little bit. Hey, Liam. Liam. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Is he okay? <laughs> hey, Dada, wake up. <laughs> Boo. I love you. Aww. <laughs> Daddy's silly. You give Dad a hug? Oh my gosh. You two are so cute. I am currently making lunch. I'm just gonna have leftover chili from dinner. I'm making Liam just a peanut butter and jelly with some honey mustard pretzels, fresh mango, and one of his yummy bars. These are really good. No added sugar in them, so that is what he is having for lunch. And Larry, what are you having for lunch? Probably a ham sandwich. Ham sandwich sounds good. Oh, maybe I should have a turkey sandwich. No, I'll just have my chili. I have a lot of leftover chili, guys, and if I do not eat it for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, not really breakfast, but lunch and dinner, it's gonna go bad. So I need to double up on having my jelly. So that is what I'm having for lunch today, as well as dinner.
day and I headed off to the grocery store this morning so I have everything laid out and I figured I would do a little grocery haul with you guys today I picked little. up I picked up some really cute glassware for the lanai and just like just to have when guests come over it's plastic which is perfect especially with Liam and just by the pool in general my parents like drilled that into me down here with the lanai's in the pool area like don't use glass around it because if somebody drops their glass and it shatters by the pool it's just like kind of a complicated situation um so to avoid glass shatter i found the most beautiful like really nice plastic cups so i'm going to share and show everything that we picked up we have a wide variety of snacks and some healthy bits and like just everything that you can think of so Let's begin. I, oh, 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 also, I found myself, this is extra. Guys, you may judge me for this. <laughs> but I did find this tiny little baby Stanley. It's a 14 ounce Stanley, like perfect for cold coffees and iced coffees. And that's why I got it. Plus it has the straw. So that's what I plan to use it for. But yesterday I did have just cold iced coffee mix. Oh, that's what I wanted to get. I wanted to get my Stoke cold coffee. Anyways, I didn't get that, but, and I even got the unsweetened vanilla almond milk for it. <laughs> and I forgot the coffee. I forgot the cold coffee. I have a question. Yeah, what? What's that? Should I go get my credit card now? Oh, are they open though? Because they don't, they might not open on the weekends until four. Larry left his card at um, a restaurant. Luckily, they found it and saved it for him, which was really nice. Good job, Lair. Yeah, way to go, Lair. Anyways, um, I will link it down below. I found mine on Amazon. So I just love the straw idea and like cold coffees or just water, a little cup. Although I'm a water guzzler, so this is not ideal for me for water, but for cold coffees and hot, you know, whatever, but cold for me. So cheers to that. They are open. They are open? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then if it does, do you want to stop at Publix and grab that cold coffee for me? Yeah. I'll take a picture of it and send it to you. Okay. It's, um, let me look it up. You're the best, babe. Thank you. Low and slow, unsweet black. This is what it'll look like. I'll send you the picture. Oh, okay. yeah, I know what that looks like. Yeah, the blue one. Make mm -hmm. sure it's just the black unsweetened. But I'll send you the picture now. You're the best, babe. Thank you. I appreciate it. I get gas too. I already got it. Oh, nice. I prepared for our day tomorrow because we're going to have a busy day. So, got the gas. Oh my gosh. Speaking of when I got the gas, I got there at perfect timing because literally, like a hundred, I'm not kidding, a hundred, I'm not over exaggerating, crotch rockets came into the gas station as I was trying to leave. So then I was stuck at my pump because they were swerving in front, swerving around, and they took over the gas station. I was like, okay, y'all are going to an event or something and everybody needs to fill up at once. So I hurried up. I got myself out of there. I was like, whoa, good timing. Um, but anyways, and I'm not kidding guys. There was like hundred, 100 of these bikes. It was nuts. Maybe they were on a road trip to Bucky's. <sighs> Maybe they could, they were definitely all in the need of filling up. I don't know how they communicated that. Oh, they have those new helmets these days that do communication. Are they all connected? That's wild. That's a lot. That's a lot in the head. Anyways, moving on. Okay, I'll see you. I'll see you later. Yeah. Drive safe. Do you have your phone? I do. You got your wallet? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I love you. I love you. All right, guys. Let me show you what I picked up. Okay, starting on this side, we have the Pete and Jerry's organic eggs and the medium peeled and deveined tail off shrimp. This is for grilling. That's the plan with this. I'm really excited to start grilling. Getting into the season. And then we have the wild caught sockeye salmon fillets. And then just some of the diced peaches and mandarin oranges and 100% juice. These are great like little quick snacks for Liam. And then we have the Rayos Homemade Sensitive Marinara. You guys know I'm having a bit of some tummy issues, so safe to say I'm going with the sensitive. Um, and then I love this brand because they don't have any added sugar and the sauce is just so, so good. And then 
I don't ever get coconut water, but this is the Vita Coco Pressed Coconut Water. And what triggered me purchasing this is I've been seeing a lot of people posting these smoothies where they're using the coconut water and strawberry vanilla protein powder. And I think that's all they're putting in it. There might be one other ingredient. And it just sounded really good. So I thought I would pick that up. Oop, I'm a little man hearing me talk and waking up. I don't know. We have Larry's um, banquet sausages some salad. We have Liam's organic cheddar bunnies. I got two packs of those. And then I've been getting Liam the Zephyr Hills huge thing of water until we get our water system put in. Um, then we have some avocado, some super greens, fresh watermelon. I got two packs of that. We have the lean ground beef, some strawberries, two packs of blueberries. The Chobani Greek yogurt whole milk plain was buy one, get one free. So I did pick up two of those. And then we also have some 2% milk back here. And this side we have the nature's own whole grain bread. This is sugar-free bread, so that's nice. We have the no sugar added peanut butter, another one of the Zephyr Hills. I think they were buy two um, for $3, so that's great. Burger buns, hamburger buns, um, sponge pads for dishes. And then here we are at the, <laughs> this snacky bits, uh, the candy jar. We have a candy jar in our house. So when we have like people over and guests over, or if we're feeling like munching on something, there is something sweet for after dinner or whenever you're feeling a little sweet moment. So we have the miniatures, dark chocolate and coconut. This was all buy one, get one free at Publix today. So I wish there was nuts in it. Um, we just got the Almond Joys that has the nut on there. They didn't have those out for the buy one, get one. So I just grabbed the miniature dark chocolate. Love that it's dark chocolate and not milk. Dark chocolate Dove Square thingies. My favorite Reese's eggs. Tis the season. It's coming to an end here, guys. And then the beautiful glasses. Oh my gosh, guys, just look at them. Are they not just the most stunning? I mean... I love them, I'm very obsessed. So I wanted to get a set of six in the smalls and a set of six in the talls, but that rhymed. <laughs> but they only had five of the talls, so I was like, well, that's okay. Just for, I don't know, parties and people coming over. I just thought they were so beautiful. It's definitely, it says hand wash is preferred on these, so I'm gonna do that so they don't get scratched and ruined. Found myself a beautiful daffodil. This smells so good. I do need to research though really quick um, if these are safe to be inside around kitty cats. If not, I'm gonna put it out on the lanai high up or like, you know what, on the front porch, that would be better. So I need to research that really quick. And then we also have our skewers. So um, with the shrimp, what I wanted to do was get like red onion and pineapple, but I forgot to grab red onion and pineapple today. I'm just having a brain block, I guess. So we'll probably just do shrimp skewers tonight on the grill. And, oh, I thought you guys were gonna fall. That is everything that I picked up at the store today. Did I show you guys the sunscreen that I got Liam from Target the other day? I don't think I did show you. And then Larry, so, so cute. He picked up Liam. <sighs> Paw Patrol band-aids. I thought it was adorable. Um, so we get that. And then for Liam, now this is a pricier sunscreen, I feel like, but I've heard it's the best and great for sensitive skins and just skin in general. You gotta be careful with a lot of the sunscreens these days, it seems like. You keep hearing a lot of horror stories about face products and sunscreen. So I picked him up the Blue Lizard Australian sunscreen. It's the 50 plus UVA UVB protection. Trusted by dermatologists for over 25 or 20 years. Sensitive, um, smart cap technology, uh, water resistant for up to 60 minutes. And it is also, is it? Yes, it's reef safe. That's such a great thing because we're in Florida. So um, I picked up the, this, the lotion form. And then I picked, this will be more so for his face. And then I picked up the spray for the body. So it's free of fragrances as well and drying alcohols and parabens free from harmful airborne titanium dioxide. So with Liam's skin being uber sensitive, unfortunately he is cursed with a sensitive skin from me, I think. Um, so this hopefully will not make him uh, react. So that's why I got these two. I figured it would be the best bet for him. So, all right guys, I think little man is up from his afternoon nap. So um, I'm gonna grab him 
and have him help me put away groceries. Guys, he is so, so sweet. He's like listening to directions so well. I asked him, uh, what did I ask him the other day? Oh, I had like this whole roll of paper towels, cute little story time and not paper towels, toilet paper, sorry. And I undid it and then I sat in front of the cabinet and I asked him to hand me a roll of toilet paper and he did one by one. I said, okay, next one. And then he would hand it to me and I would put it away. And although it takes longer to do it instead of me just like hurrying up and putting it away, it was just such a cute bonding moment and for him to learn and for him to feel like he's like helping. And I just thought it was the cutest thing. So I always try to do that with him. And even when I'm unloading the dishwasher, of course, I take the knives and everything extremely dangerous out before um, that. But he'll help me like pull things out of the dishwasher and hand them to me. And yesterday I'm I'm just I just he's at that age now where he's just I know he understands like everything that we're saying because he pulled out he loves the lids to pots and pans and he pulled one out and he was playing with it on the floor larry showed him how to spin it so he's trying to like spin it on the floor when he was done he literally opens the cabinet and put it back and then shut the cabinet door i was like oh my gosh oh my gosh but then there's also other times guys where i'm telling you like he'll take everything out of a bin and like throw everything and then run off so i don't want you guys to think wow you know perfect toddler just putting everything away when they're supposed to no because sometimes no that doesn't happen but um anyway i'm gonna go grab him he's ready to come out so our neighbor made the most amazing batch of lentil soup with fresh greens from their garden and guys, it is so, so amazing. It's cold right now, I need to reheat it. The flavor is so rich, it's amazing. So I was really happy. Um, so yeah, it was really sweet of them to send over some soup. Uh, they knew that we received bad news with our embryo and they were like, can we do anything? I was like, no, it's totally okay. And um, they were so, so kind to make us a batch of soup. So um, yeah, it's really, really good. I'm trying to get the recipe. If I get it in time uh, after I edit this video, I'll list it down below. It is full vegetarian and it's just, it's so good. I don't know if I'll be able to make it as good as they made it though. Like it's just that good, but I will try if I get a hold of that recipe. So Larry and I, I didn't want to end the vlog without talking about Wonka because you see it pop up on the screen briefly, but then I've said nothing about it. So we did finally watch the Wonka movie. It came out last Christmas, I believe, and I was really excited to see it. I was hoping to go in theaters to see it, but just the end of last year was just chaos and we never made it to the theater to see the film. So it came out on HBO. So we were able to watch it at home. I told my parents to watch it. They actually watched it first they loved it and then larry and i watched it and we loved it it's just so wholesome and positive and sweet and very family oriented i didn't expect it to be as much of a musical as it was so if like you don't like musicals at all i don't know but it's still cute and definitely worth the watch i really really enjoyed it so much so that i may have to watch it again like tonight or something because it's just so much happy positive energy you guys probably hear my computer trying to take off like a rocket ship um and i also wanted to end this vlog with thanking all of you so much for all of your kind words and positive vibes and stories and just reaching out either on youtube or instagram and sending me messages and larry messages and just sending all of your love and hugs it means the world to us um so thank you thank you thank you for being so sweet and i am gonna end this one here you guys have any video ideas or vlog ideas or something that you want me to film go ahead and leave me comments down below um, on some video ideas that you guys would like to see so all right i'm gonna end this here and i will see you guys again in the next one bye